So, as you can see, I moved my row one of my movie collection up to the top. And so, I'm up here now and I can stand instead of sitting on the floor and hurt my butt. Let's talk about the very first board game movie ever made. So, Battleship is based on the board game Battleship and is most of the time compared to Transformers basically because of aliens and there's people fighting them and they they have this technology and it's from Hasbro. I actually agree with that, but more on that later. So, it stars Taylor Kish, Rihanna, God, <clears throat> Liam Neeson, and a few other actors whose names I don't know. And it's directed by Peter Berg and I haven't seen any of his other movies or maybe I didn't, I just didn't know he was the director or producer or whatever. So after hearing reviews about this movie, I kind of knew it was just going to be one of those mindless movies and a lot of people said it wasn't fair to compare it to Transformers. In ways I do agree with that, in ways I don't. But before I get into that, I'm going to start with some more good things about the movie. The action is pretty awesome in this movie. I thought the action was really suspenseful, cool, a little cliche, pretty good. Another thing I like about the movie is Liam Neeson. He was just, he's pretty cool. Another thing I like about the movie is Taylor Kisher's haircut. I mean, he didn't have that in the beginning of the movie, but whatever. He, look, he doesn't look too bad in short hair. Oh, and there's old dudes. You gotta remember what Spongebob said. Old people are the greatest. Da! I can't do that. that. That was my horrible Spongebob impression. Now let's get into the bad parts of the movie. So let's get into a few bad things about the film. Rihanna's acting, other people's acting, dialogue, part of the pacing, basically the beginning. And let's not forget Rihanna. Yes, as you've heard from everyone else, Rihanna is a horrible actress and should stick to singing. I'm not gonna even get to detail with it because there's no need to. And one thing I'm just gonna say is she's either wooden or over the top. There you go, done talking about that. Let's talk about the Transformers comparison thing I was mentioning earlier. So as I said before, the pacing in this movie was a problem, mainly because it's like the pacing from Transformers 2. Well, not necessarily, but the beginning. The beginning of the film has that really corny humor that a lot of people don't like, but teenagers like me like. I don't really like the humor. It wasn't funny. The only part I liked was in the beginning with Taylor Kish's long hair. He's in the bar and wants to impress a girl. If you watch the movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Everything else was just stupid. I could not stand it. I always wanted to walk out to wait in line for a couple minutes and then go back. In fact, I was even thinking of sneaking into the Avengers, but I thought, no, bad thing to do. Because I'm a good person. I could swear I'm a dork. So yeah, I didn't like that about the film. But when the action starts, it gets pretty cool. Another thing about this movie I didn't like is some of the dialogue just stupid. Some of it was just ridiculous. And the characters. Some of these characters are really annoying. Just like in Transformers, I don't want to compare this to Transformers, but it is like Transformers in ways. Not like with the aliens and stuff as I said before, but these, some of these characters are just annoying. Oh. oh. You know, on Beyond the Trailer, Grace Randolph said that Hasbro might be trying to get their movies like Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Battleship and trying to make like a Marvel Studios thing. I actually wouldn't think that's that bad if the movies were good. Okay, G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, yeah. It was nothing like the original comic book, toy line, and show. It was just stupid Somers. <laughs> stupid Somers. I need better jokes. So yeah, these characters are just, some of them will just give you a headache. I almost wanted to walk out of the theater at one point. Just go back and, again, wait in line, take a picture, sneak into the Avengers, come back, and finish it. I just thought, honestly, this movie would be probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen if it wasn't for the good action and the old dudes. Just see what I mean if you watch the movie. But do I necessarily recommend the movie? Yeah, not really. I would say skip this one. Because although the action's really cool and everything, you can just get a, go to a friend's house with a Blu-ray or a DVD of the movie. You don't have to buy just rent it from um, bread box or something and then you can just watch it downstairs and then you can skip through it on the remote and then you'll be good but in theaters no not really I wouldn't watch this movie in theaters I was 
and the action is brainless, which was not a problem because I was kind of expecting that. I was kind of hoping for that, but then I had to go through a full half an hour or something like that of just dumb humor and crap. So yeah, I would say that Battleship will bomb at the box office. So next week, hopefully, I can see a really good film. In other words, Men in Black 3, and then we can get into June and look forward to some cool stuff like G.I. Joe Retaliation, Prometheus. Am I forgetting anything else? Let me know if I did, because I don't have the biggest brain on the planet. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.